Aloha. With this video, I kind of wanted to do more of a, like a little freestyle uh, because I don't really have a, a solid, usually when I do the videos, I have like three or four, sometimes more, or at least two like solid perspectives to put out there. With this one, I have like two or three kind of loose perspectives because they're they're mostly kind of like opinion based. They're not really based upon anything um, deeper than like the way I feel about the situation. So <clears throat> basically, it's the atmosphere of this artificial uh, feminism movement. Uh, just as we can understand the artificial Black Lives Matter movement in reference to addressing the psychology of white supremacy, the origin of racism, the origin of colonialism, the, 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 the disconnect that adds to these diseases is never addressed, is never brought up. Uh, so you can see how that's kind of like a fake orchestrated movement for a particular purpose. Uh, this, is, this is the reason why uh, like so-called black people didn't get behind the Black Lives Matter movement in droves because, you know, we're not stupid. We're like we know what's up. We know when we can peep out some some orchestrated bullshit for the most part, more than most people. Actually, this is why um, we are so resilient and 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 live in in these situations where people can't even comprehend how we live like how do you live with so little well when you have generations upon generations doing that for so long then you get used to it this is not something that you want to get used to though and this is why people are so-called waking up now and addressing these situations from a deeper layer this is why i'm approaching this fake feminism movement which with such kind of like passion right now because this was a I had been talking about this and addressing this for a while now but I wanted to make, make a formal video uh, and speak directly to these um, fake protesting fake feminism uh, they're just in it to yell just in it to be seen this is what it's about um, it, it's kind of like the an Occupy protest time frame there were people who were out there like day one or early on when they just found out uh, and they were genuinely out there to talk about some real issues and make some real changes in in like all systems the, the macro systems the micro systems local national international all these were on the table for the discussion but there were some people that showed up with like their tablets and their computers and not to focus out techies, you know, in, in that space, but to, to emphasize the feeling of it. Like it was a job or it was some kind of thing. And I understand that different people have different approaches or things that they can bring to the table. Uh, but there's an atmosphere of approach that involves... Uh, something that you can't not do like this is a part of your soul and then other people who are approaching something from like a just like this shallow or just kind of like how rich people or like financially wealthy people they get out there and they just you know, donate some money to a nonprofit and they think that's that's their good thing for life um, you see how commercial that is? That's how weak that is. That is. There's no real connection to, you know, and the people who get that money from that from that celebrity, they're going to look back at that person and, and, and they, oh, wow, thank you so much. But really, at the essence, the individual, they're just moving numbers around. There's no real connection there. So this is what the orchestrated feminism movement is doing. It's just moving numbers around. It's not really doing anything than... Uh, creating this synthetic movement and th this is what I'm saying um, women largely are completely on board with it because not because they're you know assholes or pieces of shit um, this is, goes back to like the flat earth movement and the truther community a lot of people are not really going to see what's approaching them if they haven't done the internal work so like me i was unaware about the spiritual warfare when i was in the occupy movement time frame 
So since the psychological warfare, which is one step down, how I explain it, and then one step down from that is a physical warfare. Since I was in that space, I was largely unaware of the spiritual warfare. So my maximum approach and capabilities were in addressing and expanding upon to learn myself. Uh, also to help with the situation, but to learn myself, teach myself uh, more about the psychological warfare in movement towards the spiritual warfare, where I didn't even know I was in a movement towards something else. I thought, you know, that was it. Uh, but once you get into that experience, you start to see something else. What's happening now is that since women have been living pretty much as men, they don't know what an actual feminine movement is. So a feminine movement of today is going to be having the scent and the movements, the masculine movements. So there's, you have feminine um, beings out there pushing a masculine feminine movement. And this is, like in my opinion, like the biggest that's out there in the mainstream like the mainstream energy is being pushed around with this feminine scent on it and this is a, another thing to emphasize is why the so-called black community stays away from the feminist movement is because the feminist movement is largely driven not largely completely driven driven by caucasian women it's a Caucasian women's movement. So the Caucasian women who are pushing the so-called women's movement are going to be limited. The, the women's movement of the whole world, which is what it's being pawned off as, is going to be limited by the Caucasian women's approach to what's going on. So the change will only be based upon women who have been put up on a pedestal. And now you, you might say, oh, yeah, well, <clears throat> I'm not even going to go there. They have been put up on a pedestal. Look at the Disney princesses. Look at the Barbie program. Look at your mainstream media as a whole, your Hollywood, your teachers in the inner cities, like everything. It's a design. So they have had it good to say, like, in comparison to, not to say they have it good in comparison to men, in comparison to other women. They've had it amazing. White women have are, are been you know, amazingly put up on this pedestal. So when they ask for change, their change is going to be, you know, if they get change, this, so this is another approach. People in that situation are going to be asking for change. They're not going to be addressing the entire establishment as a whole. This is why the uh, system is pushing that kind of, you know, Caucasian women's movement mentality because they will only be comfortable with or they'll, they'll be comfortable with doggy treats. They'll be comfortable with any kind of change, any amount of change. Uh, and, and they're obviously not going to be uh, establishment itself. So it's beneficial for the establishment to uh, publicize or, you know, sell the, the, the women's movement because they can sit behind and just wait for the last minute. They push all this women's, oh yeah, they change, 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 change. But it really just boils down to what? The electoral college, uh, like the, the last moments of that when the numbers are manipulated by the computers and so on and so forth to make you think that there's a real experience that you're engaged in, like voting. So the women's movement is basically like voting nowadays. So you think you have a real... Um, like you, you, you think you're involved in the situation. You're not. You're a child being uh, manipulated to uh, push a particular agenda you're unaware of largely. So this is, th something, this is something that people are aware of who have been, especially in the so-called truth or community, researching any kind of information. People are aware of the George Soros behind protesting, like the, the Black Lives Matter and so on and so forth. They're aware of the anonymous, you know, being, you know, manipulated by the government. People are aware of QAnon being another, like, limited Alex Jones sort of um, government-sponsored truth thing. Like, this whole, that whole scenario is 
uh, on blast. But one thing is not on blast is this fake feminism movement, which is um, not in my opinion is known like this is obviously to be worse than any of it's like the combination of all those other movements. Uh, and what, what kind of drove this video right now is um, like the, it, the lack of the lack of recognition that this is happening to a large degree. I see a lot of videos pushing like, oh yeah, obviously Black Lives Matter, obviously the Flat Earth Movement, you know, is orchestrated uh, to some degree, obviously uh, uh, all these different movements and communities, the New Age community. This is another one I, you know, I address a lot. So you can compare the New Age, the, the New Age community is a very good comparison to the fake feminism movement or the new age movement is a good comparison to the fake feminism movement because they're actually one in the same like the new age movement is is happy to have the fake feminism movement because they're talking about you know change and peace and all the uh, feminine qualities that have been suppressed by the patriarchal um, mainstream system that's been pumped out there so it's like simple math and that's what gets sold to the masses to get the majority of numbers the majority of people this is why people in the flat earth community who have no anchors who have no support or any kind of approach they're focused on the numbers too they're just like oh let's just get numbers 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 there's no quality there so what i'm saying is that women in particular have the most potential to express what a quality movement is really about um, this is not to say that women need to lead everything and all this other stuff. This, just, this is just to say that there is a movement that's happening right now. And instead of just letting it happen and just letting it just, you know, run amok out there as if something matters. Like, look at these videos right now. Um, that I, that, this is what triggered it. Aubrey <clears throat> Plaza's video. She gets out there. I think this was like a few weeks ago or something like that. Um, she's a comedian. She's known for i think she's like puerto rican and white uh, or taino and white uh so she gets out there she's known for like pushing pushing uh, comedy like uh, uncomfortable she makes me but she's she's a fucking actor she's a character in there point being is that when she gets out there like these women who are caught up in that gauntlet of shit in hollywood they are forced to like stand out there and, and they're happy to abide by. It. They're happy to do that shit. So she goes out there and they're talking all the every joke is about, you know, like strong women and women this and fuck me. You know, the other the other side is fuck men, fuck dudes. Like and, and what's missing out is that like in their search for equality, they're sacrificing the compatibility structure, which is the core of our relationships here. So the patriarchal system, the colonized system that is, like I said, this is a, this is a, a masculine sponsored feminine movement. Uh, so, damn, there was something that I was going to say in reference to, uh, anyway, I'll get back to it. So just as we like accept like the president, like all oh, the presidential election and all that other stuff. We ex we also accept movements too. So women are accepting this feminist movement. And the, the thing that the thing that I want to emphasize and point out is that um, what's pissing me off is that there's not a lot of women at all. There's there's more women that are like accepting this shit and, and just I, I don't, I'm like, are women that dumb? Like I don't think you know like women or anybody like is that dumb but these these i say that to emphasize like aubrey plaza and heidi gardner out there the way they're telling these jokes like when you really listen to it they're talking to some dumb ass people dumb ass women in particular and i'm like what the fuck what kind of person are they talking to they're talking to like an adolescent minded simpleton Fem, f woman like not even a woman they're talking like to teenage women so the feminine movement is actually like an adolescent feminine movement 
This, and, and it makes sense because the patriarchal system is this high school adolescent sort of patriarchal approach to reality. It's all about, you know, your fast car, um, your degree, your, your, you know, this bullshit. It's just American dream, whatever. So one thing that, um, that, that allows this to happen is that that fake feminism movement is driven by fake, the fake feminism, like the king of rock and roll um, feminist persona. So when you look at like Heidi Gardner, who's an SNL character or actor, and then Aubrey Plaza, these are these are actors. Uh, so what do they represent? Oh, they represent like the delightful, like Heidi Heidi Gardner. Like when you think of white women, like in in Hollywood, oh, they're just delightful. Just this delightful young, you know, sweet, caring. Um, you know, could be like the devil's advocate or the devil wears Prada sort of, or it could be like extremely funny and then like edgy and, you know, have the confidence of all this. When you think of black women, you think like, oh yeah, like uh, emotional, loud, aggressive, you know, these are the, this is what's pumped out to, to, to the people by this same system who's uh, promoting this, this fake feminism movement. So what's happening is what, how this, this fake feminism movement is being hidden is it's being hidden behind the, uh, the same way white supremacy hides behind the super sweet and super nice, overly concerned approach by so-called white people to society on every level, uh, the local, the national, and the international they play like they're spreading freedom, like they're promoting like religious freedom and uh, democracy. And, and, and that's the biggest thing, uh, like everything. It's just like, we're doing this for your benefit. We're slaughtering and genociding you for your benefit. The other side of that, is, of that token is the white woman allowing this to happen. See, in order for the white man to push colonialism around the world, they have to have the approval of the white woman. So this, this is going on and being amplified by the white woman-sponsored feminist agenda. And you have so-called not, not white women you know, jumping on board with this, thinking that this is their movement. This is all about them. This is what we're, you know, supposed to be, you know, getting behind and looking for and, and adding our energy to. And, and, and if you say anything wrong about feminism, this fake feminism, that you are attacked. So no, no, first of all, let's get to the real issue here. You're not talking about real feminism. You don't know what a real woman is. Just like the majority of people who are out there, the men are out there, they don't know what a real man is. They think a real man is just loud, has got big muscles, has a, a, a fancy car, you know, a good job. Like, that's all that commercial cartoon version of what a man is and all that other shit. They ain't got nothing to do with spiritual interpretations, uh, deeply intellectual interpretations of what uh, the masculine compatibility is with the feminine compatibility and see this is that whole this is what gets lost in the sauce of the whole unity we're all equal talk is that we we, we uh, sacrifice the compatibility of our nature that is the main point that I wanted to push out with this video is that we are sacrificing with this fake feminism movement all the all the other movements that are out there we are sacrificing <clears throat> what is compatible what is natural what is for or, or all that is being thrown away for what we've accepted by the colonial system to be normal see the normal nature the normal approach uh pawned off by these you know just delightful you know just so delightful just look at you know how wonderful just just so delightful, just sweet people, you know, look at Seth Meyer, he's just a s sweet young man, and Heidi is just a sweet young woman, and they're just, you know, they just made it. 
They've made it on their own accord. They had no help by the system or white supremacy in any way. They made it there completely on their own. Just so fucking delightful, right? <laughs> We're supposed to believe this shit. This is what the this is what why uh this is why these TV shows exist in the first place. They have to convince you every single moment of every single day that they are the most delightful people in the world so they can maintain power over your simple minded ass. This is every single TV show, because when you look at the real history, this is this is the real nuts and bolts of the macro observation. And in, in, in specific, specifically involving the mainstream media and the intention of the mainstream media. Colonialism exists. It has existed for hundreds of years. It's directly related to your relationship to resources, which is directly related to your relationship to wealth and power and control. On every level, the soul, the mind, and the body. In order to hide the genocide, the blood and the bones, the lies of the history, the lies that are pre that predate, that predate that the, the, the truth that predates this Colombian empire. All that history has to be ignored and hidden. In order to do that, you not only have to create a false storyline, a false history, a false present moment, and a false future, which heliocentrism and all the other systems, the Big Bang, all the, the way you connect to this universe as a whole is tied into, that not only has to be created, but there has to be an atmosphere of control, of manipulation in every single moment to keep you from going into that space. So there has to be a negative, a negative and a positive that is sold to you both as a positive. So the negative is the limitations that are put out by these individuals who are pushing like fake movements. So that's a that's an inherent limitation. The fake feminism movement, the fake Black Lives Matter movement. The, all these, the, the LGBT movement, and then when they combine all of them, that's another way to suppress it too. So as long as you have fake movements pushed by fake people, like that's a double nega. Negative time is a negative becomes a positive. And they, they, they uh, televise that positive on a regular basis. This is how they do it. So the, this, this is another thing that's not broken down by the so-called truth community. Why do white people have to be portrayed as such delightful people? You can see that and, it's, and then people automatically get in their feelings. I can feel it already talking about, you know, well, that's not happening. Da, 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 da. And then no, like, look at the atmosphere of so-called black people. There's an actual there's an actual uh, agenda pushed out by Hollywood, the mainstream media to make so-called not white people look a certain way, look fucked up, look criminal, look evil, primitive, savage, so on and so forth. That's a reality. You can't dispute that. The other side of that, which is indisputable, is the that same system which makes these people look a certain way makes the other people look another way. So white people are portrayed to look amazing and delightful and wonderful and so sweet. My question is, why? Why on a regular everyday fucking basis do you have to have Seth Meyers and Heidi Gardner and all these other people out there constantly convincing you? Because that's what it's for. You think it's for your entertainment? Just like the mainstream media, that's for your entertainment? No. Why are they out there? Why does the fake feminism movement exist? Why does this delightful atmosphere, is it because white people are just so fucking nice and delightful and concerned with humanity and this whole thing? Is that true? That's another thing that's existing out there. 
because they're on your local news, because they're on your television shows, because they're on your international news networks every single day, still portraying that persona, you think that their storylines, what they are concerned with, is the most important thing that you should be concerned with. So you take all of your focus that could be channeled into a, a deeper and a deeper approach about what's going on. You're automatically, you're instantaneously hopeless because your best case scenario is what? Is to channel that information into what, um, what's acceptable, what's accepted by society. Uh, and and the, the reason why you constantly fall for this is because that system is constantly being uh, amplified. So you see YouTube channels. I saw this the other day. Um, there's these twins out there. I think they're called like the conservative twins. Grown ass men. Um, uh, So-called black men. They're just, just, you know, grown ass men. But very fucking childish. Like very, very like in their style like uh you know how stand-up comedy has a style this is another thing where, like spoken word has a style and i don't really affiliate with that style because it's like a limitation there like i have to act in some kind of way i'm not saying that it doesn't have its benefits i'm saying like there's a flow and a style that i am more comfortable with just not having any limitations by like i I see the benefit of, you know, the style of the flow and the feel and the, you know, let's put this stuff together and let's, you know, make this thing about, it's a, it's a, um, it's a format. What I'm saying is that there's nothing wrong with that format, but in the long run, if you only subject yourself to a format, you'll potentially miss out or you will definitely miss out on your maximum capacity to um, create something with out a format, create something uh, that is format less and has like a freestyle nature to it that wouldn't be there if you didn't try it. So a lot of these individuals are out there just, you know, pushing formats out there. And like I'm saying, the, the, the main format that's pushed has a self-destruct mode in it. The feminism format of today has the self-destruct mode in it that is limited to the accepting of the white supremacy program and the power grid, the authority as a, as a whole. So so-called white women who are in charge of that movement are not going to be speaking for you, so-called black woman. And that's what I'm saying. If they're not speaking for you, they're speaking against you. So the, white, the feminism movement that's out there is not for not white women. It's for women who don't necessarily have to be white, but in their consciousness, they are of that col colonial consciousness. They are limited to uh, change that is within the, the grid, change within the matrix. So they are saying, yeah, we're okay with colonialism and everything that's going on. We just want it to get better, you know, because us white women uh, are just, you know, we don't have what white men have. See, that's the discussion in the, in the feminism movement, but they won't say that out loud. This is, the, this is, that is the definition of the feminism movement. Hey, you know what? Us white women are not equal to white men in society. That should change. And everybody else is saying, you know what? That's true. And they're not saying white women and white men. They're just saying women and men. But they really mean the colonial uh, authority suppressing, like uh, uh, the the, uh, <clears throat> the mind controlled woman. That's what the feminism movement is. It's the mind controlled woman in the mind controlled men world. And you have so called, uh, you know, thinking people of all kind of all. Uh, women and men pushing the feminism movement as if it's for the people. This is the thing that this 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 is another testament to the trust and belief in the in the love for this system. To have anything be orchestrated by the system and to not say anything about it is, or to not be aware of you know its implications or possibilities of what's going on, 
is a testament to the individual, like where their consciousness is. So when you have these conservative twins and conservative black women out here, you can see where they are. And bigger movements that are out there are existing to affect people's macro storyline to to manipulate where people are, to keep people at a particular space and to, to an, keep them from going any further than that. So this is this fake feminism movement that's out there that, you know, it's coming to this point where it's just like irritating. It's irritating to see this fake ass like Aubrey Plaza sitting up there. You know, she's got her legs um, standing in this kind of like I'm woman, I am powerful stance. And that's fake ass. That's like a man standing up there with his arms like strong like uh, like like holding his arms like a like a weightlifter or what was it called um not weightlifter fucking uh you know what i'm talking about when when people with muscles they put their arms up and they's like oh look at my muscles that's like her <clears throat> is that a real um masculine movement does that represent a real masculine movement no. So why? You know, so and I understand, you know, women, you know, trying to feel their way into their space. But this is what I'm saying. This is not you're not talking about real feminine qualities. You're not talking about that. This ma mainstream media is not talking about the real compatibility between the masculine and the feminine and the qualities that are inherent in this natural system. They ain't talking about that. They're talking about how much money you make in comparison to the white man. They're talking about white women's money up against white men's money. And in order to make that believable and, and this whole freedom fighting thing across the world, they have to say that they're fighting for all women against the white man. See, the white man is the patsy in the national mind control program, like the Jewish man is the patsy in the international conversation. And as long as you focus on those two distractions and scapegoats, you miss out on the, on the, um, on the deeper issues at hand here, on the authority itself, on the system itself. So this is not to say that obviously right, white supremacy and racism and um, Jewish, in, Jew, Jewish involvement in uh, the international control grids. It's not to say that that stuff doesn't exist. That's to say it does exist. It's that it exists for more than one reason. It exists to do what it's doing. It also exists to distract and to distract people and keep people from going to the depths of uh, storylines that would be threatening to the empire as a whole. So these story, these uh, fake movements get put out there. And I, I just wanted to put this atmosphere out there now. I, I would stop doing all um, flat earth videos um, and start focusing on, it. like if I was a woman, I'd start focusing on all the fake feminist bullshit that's out there and burn that shit down like please if you're a woman who makes youtube videos and you're about truth and all this other stuff because i watched there's this one channel on here that just makes me vomit in my mouth um 90 plus percent of the times but i keep watching the videos because i hope i keep hoping that um that they're re like she's real and that other people that they're going to change like change their conversation points because okay so the channel's called Truth or Talk and i think she's like a concert it's like a couple of people a couple of women uh but it's all like uh it, it seems like my my instinct is to be like they're fake as fuck like this is a fake ass thing but they call their channel Truth or Talk they address some some big issues like chemtrails and all this other stuff. I'm not getting behind in these channels or anything. I'm just giving an example of, you know, some of the in-betweeners that are, are adding up to, you know, the frustration that comes with, like, looking at an interview with, like, Heidi Garner and Seth Meyers. Like, that's the whitest fucking interview you're ever going to see in your life. And I'm saying this from, like, a comedic perspective, obviously. I'm not saying, like, oh, white people. Like, I'm just saying just obviously... 
Like, why? Why the fuck does this interview exist? Like, why? Because it's not about Heidi Gardner and Seth Meyers and, and, you know, white people like that. But this is a real thing that's being promoted in our world every fucking day. And, 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 and people do not challenge themselves to see why or ask why. They automatically jump into, I'm the bad guy for talking about it. Instead of approaching like the co-intel pro, the mocking bird um, potentialities of these reality, these, these storylines like Seth Meyers and Heidi Gardner, and I, like instead of approaching the government's involvement and finding out why they're out there doing what they're doing, simple minded ass so-called truthers want to attack the individual asking the question. Because they're lazy, or some of them on the other side, which is probably the majority, some of them just don't know. So they knee-jerk response, just kind of like, well, you're this, and you're that, and you're that. And like, no, no, you're missing the whole point. And by now, I don't really give a shit now, but you see what I'm saying. We just accept the mainstream media to be doing what it's doing, instead of addressing why. That's why I said, look at this shit. When you look at them, they're, like, they're meant... They're designed to look. It's not that they are just the most delightful people all the time. And then this is also what happens. You look at the amount of people that go on these television shows, on these late night talk shows. This is the subconscious shit that gets sold to even your kids too. They don't even have to watch these shows. They're just scrolling through YouTube and they're constantly white people being interviewed by other white people and that's the mainstream conversation. That's the news of the world. What does that say to that brown, you know, that not white individual? And like I said, I'm using these terms to uh, give examples. Of, I wouldn't normally use the terms white and black and all that other stuff because I know that that's a mind control program. But for this video, this is really needed because the same way I use fake femi or feminism as fake feminism to emphasize the fake feminist movement. Like it's just like the the civil rights movement was a fake civil rights movement and just the same way the black movement or that, that it was a fake involved in that on the street level it was real because it was addressing the roots. This is why the government created COINTELPRO to to snuff it out. But when it got reactivated after they took out their leaders it was it got reactivated the same way this fake feminism movement is out there now. It got reactivated as a fa fake black movement, and then they all they all they had to do was promote their Hollywood celebrities who were selling a a uh, dumbed down version of a black movement, a dumbed down version of civil rights, and then boom, that's what they sell to the people. This is why the government had to make a fight. Or some kind of discord between Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X to create that division to distract you from the actual story at hand, which both of them were talking about eventually. Malcolm was talking about in the beginning, but right before, or yeah, yeah, right before they took him out, Dr. Martin Luther King was talking about the depths of what Martin, uh, Malcolm X was talking about. That's why they took him out. Uh, because he wasn't playing the so-called white game anymore. He, he stepped from the power, the authority, because all that peace and everything, peaceful and all that other stuff, that's beneficial for the system. This is why, you know, people attack me in this channel because they're like, oh, you're, you're just pushing on. Like, no, 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 no. Um, that whole mentality is a, is a push. It's on purpose. So when you start talking, and this doesn't mean, this is, that's another thing. Just because <clears throat> I'm not talking about Peace, 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 peace all the time. That doesn't mean that I'm not peaceful. That just means that there's something else to be addressed and focused on and presented at the same time as you are expressing that peaceful approach. So, but there's something else before that. that before you just start to use peace, because this is a thing. The peace, 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 the artificial peace movement, the artificial, like the artificial feminism movement is also being pushed to suppress your movement, 
to suppress your revolution. So since you have simple minded people who don't know the difference between well, like how far they need to go, what do they do when they see you not regurgitating and mouthing off unity and peace and all that other shit that gets put out by the new age community? If they don't hear that as uh, like a repetitive theme coming out of your mouth and your, what you're saying all the time, because they need that the same way the system needs to repeat these these uh, Heidi Gardner and all these people in your face all the time. That's a repetitive thing. Peace, 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 peace. This is a nice, 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 nice. That's what's happening all the time. We're so sweet. We're so concerned. We're so awesome. We're so amazing. We're so, we, we talk about the real politics all the time, every day. We're so sweet. We're so nice. Let's interview somebody else. That's really amazing. Hey, what you doing? What movie you got going on? Is that a, it, well, is this talking about something deep? Hey, that's talking about feminist movie. You know, that's a big hot issue right now. It's a good thing that you're a woman. You're talking about this. You're ahead of the game. You're a good thing. You're like every day, by the time you know, a whole fucking year has passed. And they've been selling you that, hey, come on, you, you know, we're really nice people. You should get behind us. We're talking about the really good thing. We're the, we're the uh, evolutionary peak of all our intellect. We're the best thing since sliced bread. We're, we're amazing. Hey, what do you mean you're not with us? You don't want to be on our team? You must be an angry person. You must be uh, not with peace. You're against peace. He's against peace. He's angry. <coughs> you see <coughs> you see what I mean <coughs> excuse me that's the intention of all these TV shows and the mainstream media as a whole <coughs> you, you watch this and, and subconsciously you're thinking you're, you're overwhelmed you're tired by the end of the day you're like fuck you're exhausted by white people you're like Oh my God, <clears throat> like uh, uh, Eddie Griffin said in, uh, oh, what do you say? Undercover brother, <laughs> he's Caucasian overload, Caucasian overload, Caucasian overload. This is a thing. You are being pressured to have Caucasian overload because at the end of the day, what Caucasian overload does is that it makes you obedient to the colonial overload. The colonial, you just accept the colonial system <clears throat> because subconsciously you've been programmed by the Caucasian overload of the mainstream media telling you that nothing's wrong, that everything is awesome, everything is sweet, everything is fucking awesome, fucking A man, everything is awesome, capitalism, democracy, the American dream, what the fuck more could you ask for? This is amazing. Yeah, some things are fucked up. You know, a bunch of white people, white men specifically, did this and that. But, you know, things are changing. Things are getting better. Look at the feminism movement. Look at the Black Lives Matter movement. That's, that's, that's the atmosphere that is uh, being pushed. <clears throat> and what people are missing is that in that space, they are still dictating the conversation. They're still dictating the movement. We have this. You have Black Lives Matter. You have the, the, the whole atmosphere is the problem. When they say, you, you, what do you mean? You did that feeling, that arrogance, that all that energy behind the, what do you mean you don't like feminism? What do you, you're not, this, come on. Your people have everything right now. Compared to third world countries, you you're doing you're the, the, you have this, you have that, you have this. Who the fuck gave you the authority to make the decision on what people should and shouldn't have? The same mentality that happened during the Trail of Tears is being pushed through these YouTube fucking minded people today. The authority to say no. We should just move you off your land. Just walk over there. Please just walk over there. It's just the trail. You don't have to cry. It's just a trail. Just move your house over there. It's just a few hundred miles. It's just over there. This is what gentrification is. 
So that happy-go-lucky, nice, sweet individual that you're looking at, you know, in every single day, in every single interview, that's, you know, portrayed by every single other actor out and actress that's out there that's paid to do that. That's why they're paid millions of dollars to do this. They're paid, they're not paid millions of dollars because they're talented. They're paid millions of dollars as hush money to keep their mouths fucking shut about the situation at hand which largely is designed to suppress you and your intellect and your pr approach on every level. So they are paid millions and millions of dollars to keep you from understanding the depths of the situation. And the biggest movement out there right now to do that is this fake feminist bullshit. And women in particular, I was gonna say people because you know, <clears throat> just fucking simple, just cheap ass, weak ass men who don't know how to think for themselves are going to just suppress, just, you know, be all on the nuts of this woman's movement. They mean, oh, yeah, you know, you're not a feminist. What's wrong with you? You know, well, what the fuck are you labeling yourself as? Obviously, first, let's break this shit down. Like, I don't label myself you know, human, let alone a fucking feminist and all this other stuff. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, so these people, this is the conversation. So the conversation isn't that there's a fake feminist movement out there. In that discussion, the fake, the, the, the conversation now gets moved to what? Why this asshole is against women around the world. You know, this, uh, this, that's, the, that's the adolescent approach. It's bullshit on purpose. So until we step outside of that, def this is this is what I'm saying is the problem. People defending. So women defending the fake systems and, and men doing it the same way. But I want to, in this video, emphasize the responsibility that real women have. I'm speaking to the real women right now. Not the fucking women who are totally mind controlled and stuck in this like um, Seth Meyers, fake feminism, Grammys, Oscars bullshit no the real women who are like this is not my women's movement your women any kind of women's movement or healing in any kind of way is not going to be in reaction to asshole men a real women's movement is going to be in a healthy in, in growing a healthy relationship with the men not in reaction to fucked up men because what are you focusing on <clears throat> you're focusing on reaction reaction reacting you're not you know focusing on your empowerment your true space of empowerment it's all about reacting to and like i said in previous videos that's beneficial to the system why because you're not addressing the power itself. And when you don't address the power itself, you don't inhabit your power to address the power. So you're like three steps away from dealing with the actual situation at hand. So <clears throat> I think that's pretty much a good kind of freestyle on this, on this discussion. Main point that I wanted to put out there is to emphasize this fake feminist bullshit. So uh, people will ask me, are, are you a feminist? Oh, fuck no, I'm not a feminist. You want to have a real discussion about what the question you just asked me? Take the authority out of that tone that you have by projecting all that bullshit on me. You're not a feminist? First of all, calm your shit. Calm the fuck down. Because your tone and your approach presupposes that something is wrong with me. And it doesn't humble oneself into realize that maybe your approach is totally fucked. And that's the atmosphere, that's the tone, that's the persona that doesn't get approached with the Black Lives Matter movement and largely all these other fake movements that are out there. They miss the whole point. My point is on purpose. They miss those points on purpose. It's beneficial for the system to have large groups of people missing the whole point. So <clears throat> with this video, what I wanted to leave people with is women in particular Start distinct, distancing yourself 
from this fake shit. Please start destroying the fake feminist movement so real women can wake the fuck up. The real reason, one of the real reasons why men and women are not really waking up and really inhabiting their own power is because they don't know that a lot of people are insecure with all the fake movements that are out there. They don't want to get caught up in a fake movement and they themselves look fake so they just don't do anything. They stay quiet. Well, I know a lot of people, all those quiet people are staying quiet. And some of them are watching this channel and they've been watching this channel and they stay quiet. Well, I'm asking a lot of the people right now who are either making videos or in line or, or, or even just having discussions with people. You don't even have to make videos. Just don't sit around and accept this happy-go-lucky fake bullshit. Wake the fuck up and start understanding, understanding, and owner, overstanding the compatibility side of this discussion and then start a, a, addressing and attacking please start attacking this fake positive movement shit because it's keeping people from really waking up and doing anything it's it's a double win when you do that what you're doing is when you start attacking the fake feminist movement what you're doing is you're, <clears throat> you're playing offense and defense because what you're doing is that you're attacking, you're keeping that system from going any further because this is, what, this is the wave that's being ridden into the presidential election. This is why I'm doing this right now. The fake feminism movement is the wave that's going to be rid, uh, it's the biggest wave going to be served into the presidential election. And whether they get a man or a woman to be the president or be the leader of the whatever they're wanting to do. Um, when they do that, they're going to be missing the whole point. The, all the points that I'm bringing up here. So now start attacking it now. And it's not just to bring that system. Uh to justice and into light and for what is going on. It's not just to bring that to the, to the conversation. It's also to challenge yourself to go to a deeper level of knowing what the fuck you're doing, what you are, what you're about, what is, you know, true, what is true feminine power, feminine energy? What is the real women? Like what, what are the real thing qualities that empower women? Is it the same shit that empowers men? Fuck no. But that's that colonial minded bullshit. They want to take that equality bullshit. <clears throat> they want to sell you that equality shit. Same thing that's happening with race. Uh, and they sell you that equality shit because in selling you equality, they still have the upper hand from having the authority of being the approval of what it is that you should and shouldn't believe. I don't have to say that again to make people see how important that is to understand what the fuck that is. That is real shit right there. When they are saying, yes, we are equal, they are saying we have the authority to decide what is what. So they're still saying we're not equal. Because they're the ones who approve what's what. So what I'm saying is that shine a light on that shit. Burn that shit down and simultaneously activate that which is real to you. Activate that which is that is true to you. And it involves the compatibility, the natural harmonies that you have with yourself, with this experience with your relationships with each other. In particular, the man with the woman. Find out, expand upon the, <clears throat> the uh, compatibility in, in harmony of that before you start like a feminist movement, all this other thing. See, the feminist movement over there, this is why they had that dude dressed in that big ass dress, that big tuxedo dress. Because the, the, the feminist movement, this is why I said this, so, this is what pisses me off. Fuck feminism, the way it's pumped out there. Now, fuck that shit. Because your feminism requires our 
suppressing of our masculinity, the real masculinity, not this post-Columbian uh, white man uh, to be like loosely putting it out there, not to put that, not, not that fake ass masculine, like drive your car saved by the bell masculinity, like the fucking uh, television show masculinity, hell no. See, your feminism movement implies that that's the way we are. And that's not true. So fuck you if you're pushing that shit. And the people who are pushing that mainstream feminism movement are known to be pushing it when they're out there pushing that. Look at how wonderful this man is. He's so such a masculine quality. We're all equal. He's so in solidarity with women and all this. No. There's a system out there by that same fake movement establishment that is <clears throat> hell-bent and required to emasculate men, in particular the so-called black man. So when you are standing up there, oh yes, look, at he's such a, he's such for women's rights and all, because he wore a fucking dress, you are ignorant as fuck to, to the point of being dangerous. So this feminism, this fake feminism movement that's out there is dangerous. Because it's supporting the emasculating, emasculating of the men. And that's its driving force. The same way so-called white people have to beat down other races to look amazing. Why do you think they're always talking about, every time you hear something on television, you always hear O.J. Simpson, Bill Cosby, uh, the Jesse Smollett stuff, Smollett stuff that's going on now, and R. Kelly. Specifically, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, and uh, whoever else. I, but you, you hear these, these are pings all the time. Joe Rogan just did it last night in an interview. They weren't talking about nothing involving so-called black people. Then all of a sudden, he had to give an example of, you know, like, uh, talking about Bill Cosby. Like, where the fuck did that come from? You can't give any other examples of how, you know, white people are fucked up in some kind of way. No, but they have to overemphasize how so-called black people are fucked up all the time to make them look amazing. See, that's the other side of this late night with Seth Meyers bullshit. And they just get people over and over, different kind of people over and over again to sell the same story. We're so fucking delightful. We're so fucking delightful. So amazing. We'll totally not genocide your people. It's insane to think so. Look how many TV shows we have. We give you so much. Don't you have food stamps? Don't you have all these other programs that we, we've provided for technology? How ungrateful. This is the discussion that's not being had. It's made, it's in your subconscious every day, <clears throat> especially when they're putting this out there. Let me end this video right now. Fuck this fake feminism shit that's out there. Please start putting, shining a light on it a little bit more. And uh, uh, like break this shit down. Because this is an alchemy. This is a mind control that is, in my opinion, one of the biggest ones. Top three. Top three. Top three of the biggest mind controls that are out there. Because it's including the past, the present, and the future. It's including the mind controls that are live and direct and active right now. It includes all of the mind controls of the truth community. Uh, <clears throat> it, it includes the infrastructure, how this stuff affects us. That's why it's so important for real women to wake the fuck up. And it will involve you having to separate yourself. Yes, this is why that unity and... Uh, all that shit is being pushed by the new age movement because they're trying to make you insecure about separating yourself from weak minded ass people who aren't powerful enough to get away from that system. They need you to stay attached to people who they themselves are attached to the codependency of that system. Let me say that again.
They need you to stay attached to your friends and family and all those other people who they themselves are attached to the mind control, colonial, self-destructive system, codependent system. So they need to completely hit people that are close to you all the time with how great this system is and that it's changing over and over and over again. Stuff that's near and dear to you, your, your mother, your grandmother, your civil rights, you know, like women. Like, this is a big deal, right? They don't give a fuck about you. And things won't change until... Things won't change until the real... Like, the, like the real men need to wake up. The real women need to wake up, too. Real men need to wake up in reference to this fake Alex Jones, Joe Rogan, TYT bullshit. That's already kind of obvious right now because they got their extra white people out there being extra like thinking they're revolutionary right now. And it's obvious as hell. And that's the distraction. That's the distraction because the real so-called power move is going to come when they start selling you women leaders. Because your, your men leaders won't matter anymore. Your, your, men, your men leaders won't matter anymore when they have a whole slew of women or women uh, movement leader type men who are out there. It doesn't matter. It's the agenda that's being pushed. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it with this video. Keep that in mind. Really, so and this is this is another thing like that with that whole like uh, wake up and woke and conscious and all that other stuff. Um, see, being woke and conscious to the people who use those words involves a lot of these fake movements. So, like, there's somebody out there that's considering himself woke now, in this moment, because he you know, just yesterday or two days ago was completely unaware of the attack on women, of the attack on, um, you know, whatever, but particularly in this feminist one. And then today they're going to be like, I think I'm a feminist. I think I am for women's rights. And in comparison to his former self, he can call himself woke now. That's what woke and conscious is. It's all in comparison to. It ain't got shit to do with actually being about anything. It's all a, a sweater. It's a hoodie that you wear. It's bullshit. It's the same way that they put these individuals on television and they, and they say, just be yourself. Just be your sweet little self. Just get out there and be likable and, and, and wonderful and, and just be honest. Be a woman. And you're going to kill it. And, and they get out there. <laughs> We're so sweet. We're about real change. We're talking about truth. And we want the world to come together. And, and stop being angry. And, and stop being. No, they're protecting all that shit. They are the ones who are protecting the system. They're the ones who are protecting the establishment. And, and, and how I see it, women <clears throat> are the biggest myth, 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 myths in this whole truth community or movement. They're the biggest myths out there. Because largely how I'm seeing it, women are still suppressing themselves, really. Now that you have YouTube, uh, suppressing in, I say suppressing in reference to like not really allowing their voice to get out there uh, because largely a lot of their voices are limited by these fake movements. A lot of them don't even feel like they can speak about anything because the topics that they feel qualified to speak about based upon comparing to the topics that are spoken about by the internet, the topics that feel, they feel comfortable about don't really they are not, they're not like youtube big hitters but what i'm saying is that those those topics that women that real women have to talk about that's the real shit that needs to be shared that's the shit that that's the real um information that needs to be shared to help with even men understanding 
more deeper layers of themselves because they're understanding the compatibility nature with women not the equality uh the, this we're all the same shit with women no <clears throat> the real women who wake up will help the real men wake up and vice versa. But if you have fake women, women waking up in a fake movement, you're only going to inflame fake men waking up to be a part of that fake movement. And that's pretty much what it all boils down to. You have a bunch of fake uh, consciousness beings waking their synthetic consciousness in a synthetic system and then amplifying that synthetic system and since that is one of the biggest talking points that needs to be spoken out there now you have people who are men <clears throat> basing their truth their approach on a fake on a synthetic approach on a synthetic system so they're two layers separated 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 from what they could really be talking about and i'll end it on this the, to emphasize like i said as soon as women let this shit go, burn this shit down, and really start inhabiting who the, who the fuck they really are, it will actually help men to get where they need to be too, because men ain't there yet either. Men still out there, the majority of men are still out there, you know, regurgitating Owen Benjamin, Alex Jones, and Joe Rogan shit. They don't know how to be men. They're out there thinking that, you know, learning martial arts, like a kid would think. Uh, what was it like to be a man? Uh, learn martial arts and uh, get a lot of muscles. Talk about science. Uh, talk about rockets. Uh, get a nice car. Uh, have a lot of friends where you drink and smoke. Uh, and just look, you know, really like a man, right? Can you? Yeah. Look like a man. And then, you know, that's it. That's all you got to do. That's what a fucking child would think in reference to what a man is. So what I'm saying is, as soon as men, uh, women start to wake up and start finding out what real women are, because women do the same thing, just in a different style. What's a real woman? Oh, big ass titties, a big ass, you know, makeup all over the place. Has a real high squeaky voice and all this stuff. So it ain't got shit to do with the essence of the, the, the divine feminine. It ain't got shit to do with that. Nothing. We don't know what that is. There's no approach to the spiritual warfare. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I'll leave it there. There's so many different ways I can go into breaking this stuff down. Obviously, you can see, but uh, I get. I think the gist is out there. Women need to wake the fuck up. Uh, not to just say only you know women, but to emphasize in this video, women need to wake the fuck up, so you can also help men wake the fuck up. And that's to emphasize this. I say it because. Women are being used as the main mechanism to keep all people asleep. The feminism movement right now is being used to keep all people, men and women, asleep. So yes, it is also the responsibility of men to, you know, get their shit together, wake the fuck up and start taking care of business. But also, we need our women to wake the fuck up and get involved in this shit and start tearing down that fake movement, fake feminist bullshit that's out there. Because they're only going to keep adding to it as it goes on. And the, the attractive thing to, to, you know, a lot that distracts a lot of women is that they get enveloped in the political scene. See, that's the masculine minded uh, women. So they, they think in order to, you know, uh, make everything equal between men and women, women think that they need to be involved in the political scene. So you have all these like conservative women now. And, and that, that's, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's the Truther Talk um, YouTube channel that I was talking about. She's one of them. And she's kind of like an in, or they're one of them. They're in, they're like, it, how I see it, they're like in this in. Mean thing. I don't really know how to approach this stuff. It just is, I don't see how it's even possible, but you know, it, it exists. They call themselves truth or talk and they seem to be like conservative women. And she's only a conservative woman because she's anti-liberal men and women. See that whole reactionary bullshit? The, and, and you can see where I'm talking about now as far as like um, 
how these movements get manipulated and how fake awakenings get portrayed and, and, and uh, pumped out there. So let that shit go. Burn that shit down. Women, wake the fuck up. Help these fake men and these. The, the, the faster you wake up and start pointing this shit out and start burning down the fake movements, the easier it will be for people to wake up and activate the real movements internally and externally on the micro and the macro. But also, <clears throat> uh, to hold accountable all these other systems that are out there that, that are not for our benefit. Obviously, with like the Owen Benjamin, the Joe Rogan, and the Alex Jones that are out, that are out there, they got you know thousands of you know men children, man children who are all about that shit, and they'll be able to see how fake and weak and bogus their approaches are when women are out there saying, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" They will be able to see, oh shit, what is wrong with me? They'll be able to see it even more clearly when that, when that happens. Until then, they will continue to pride themselves in this fake-ass truth or community, Owen Benjamin, TYT, Joe Rogan, Alex Jones sponsored bullshit. It's a pride thing. All right, Kenya, I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> it's a pride thing. And, and, and the, the fake pride, that's what I'm saying, you, you can start approaching and, and, and taking out this, these uh, fake movements once you just start waking up yourself. This is, this is just how you can do it yourself. I'll leave it there. Kenya's saying, <laughs> change, put some music on. I'm like, all right, put some music on. Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining me. Thank you for the support. And... Um, yeah, make some make some videos about this stuff. Leave it in the comment section and let me know. Um, so I'll check it out too. Uh, because this is something that really needs to, to, to get down and, and get out there. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for the support. And until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.